What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mezco exclusive 112 Collective Advent Calendar Rumble Society's Cousin Eddie. So here we have Cousin Eddie posing out of the Advent Calendar and off my display stand. So with him out here, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Cousin Eddie does come with six different hands. We do get a grip right hand. We get a fist left hand, we get a style pose right hand, we get a rock out left hand, we do get a right hand giving the OK symbol, and then we do get a middle finger left hand. And then Eddie does come with a bottle of battery acid bourbon, which looks really nice and it is a funny accessory. Unfortunately, Cousin Eddie is rather light on accessories. I guess you can count his chain as an accessory, but um, he really doesn't come with much to be quite honest, which is really strange for a Mezco figure. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get Cousin Eddie and have a closer look at him. And so here we have a closer look at Cousin Eddie. And I think this is a very fun figure from Mezco. Now, I don't see this as a must-have figure. This is just a really fun figure to own in your collection. If you have it, you have it. And I think Cousin Eddie here looks really nice. So let's actually take a look at his head sculpt right here. Now, he does have this really stylistic Rumble Society skull, which we saw on the pink skulls, which is my favorite skeleton head because it's very stylized. But separating that from... Uh, those skulls from this one Eddie actually does have yellow eyes which look really nice they're not really yellow they're kind of like a highlighter yellow so they do have a hint of green in them and they do look nice I do like the fact that he does have a golden tooth right there that is such a nice little detail and don't we all have that cousin Eddie that comes by the holidays always having a little too much to drink and yeah but yeah really liking this skull I liked it on the pink skulls really love it here on Eddie now having a look at his onesie which is really funny I think this is just absolutely hilarious as he is wearing a reindeer onesie and one good thing about it is that there is a wireframe right here in the hood so it is posable to a point you can see you can make it a little bit wider so it sits a little more flush or just have a little bit of fun you can even fold it down and that wire will hold it down a little bit but not perfectly yeah, it, you can actually have it resting like that and it sits just fine, but yeah, you can't really have it like all the way down. So he does have this really nice gold chain, which is really cool. I do like it. It's really, really funny that he has this gold chain and it's just, I just find Cousin Eddie here as a hilarious character to be 100% honest. Now, one thing I do like is that the onesie is removable. And let's actually take his chain off really fast just so you can see if you don't want him wearing it you can take his onesie off and it's just one of the bare Mezco bodies underneath that and I think one of the funniest things about this figure is that they actually gave him Rumble Society boxers let's actually see if I can get those out you can see it does say Rumble Society on his boxes and that's that's hilarious I might do some funny pictures with that later on but we'll see how it goes but yeah Really liking the reindeer onesie. It's a very funny uh, clothing choice. I'm surprised they haven't made a Santa Claus Gomez yet, or a Santa Claus-like character. Huh, I don't know. But yeah, I do like the fact that it is two different textures. We have what feels like felt right here, and then we have like wool right here on the belly. So you do have different textures right there. He does have these standard... Uh, Gomez gloves which we've seen on a lot of Rumble Society characters we saw it on Gomez the pink skulls I think the white skull uses it and then the black skulls but yeah I really do like this it's a very nice well tailored onesie it doesn't hinder articulation as much as you think about as much as a onesie would hinder articulation I guess would be the best way I kind of wish it had a little tail I think that's what this onesie is missing that little tail or even a flap that could open up. I think that would also be hilarious for Cousin Eddie here. But yeah, going all the way down, he is wearing red Mezco chucks. And you can see the Mezco logo right there. And if you guys are wondering, he does have magnets on the bottom of his feet. So he can steal Gomez's uh, hoverboard if you really want him to. 
I kind of feel like it was a missed opportunity to give us one bare foot and then one foot with a shoe. That would have been even more hilarious, at least to me, because, you know, he's Cousin Eddie and he's going to be drunk at the party anyway. So really simple figure. He is missing some vital accessories like a stand, a Mezco stand would have been really nice to have for Eddie here. But overall, it's still a very, very nice figure to have and I am happy to have him in my collection. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get Cousin Eddie compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Cousin Eddie posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Cousin Eddie posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective, Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Cousin Eddie posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. Here we have Cousin Eddie posed next to the Holiday Gomez and the Pink Skull Chaos Club. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Cousin Eddie's articulation. If we can just move his hood down just for a little bit, he does have a double ball joint in the head so he can look up, he can look down. We do get some really nice head tilt on that ball joint and then it does rotate left and right. Then he does have a secondary ball joint in the neck so he can look up even further. He can look down really nicely and then we get some even better head tilt which already gives me plenty of ideas for pictures with Cousin Eddie here. Arms are on ball joints that do go out to the side really nicely and I do like the fact that the onesie doesn't hinder too much articulation. His arm does go all the way up and that's about as far as you can get it before the onesie starts tugging on itself. He does have a bicep swivel. We have a double bend here at the elbow. Kind of stiff on this second joint but it did go and then again bicep swivel. Ball hinge here at the wrist so it does move forward and back. We can rotate that to have up and down movement and then of course it rotates on that pin. Cousin Eddie does have a ball joint torso which does let him lean back about that far. He leans forward about that far. Can tilt to the side, to the other side really nicely and then that does rotate. Then he does have a second ball joint here at the mid torso which combining those two joints he can lean that far forward. Going back, um, uh, I'm tugging on this suit. Leans back quite a bit so yeah that's really good range there. Legs do kick out only to about right there because the onesie does uh, limit how much range it does get. But kicking forward you can see also a little bit hindered. You can move both legs horizontal but the moment you move one leg it starts tightening on itself and it pu pulls the other leg down so do be aware of that. We do have a thigh swivel. Double bend here at the knee. We have rotation at the foot as well as a ball joint actually so it does rotate around pivot side to side goes forward goes back and rotate so overall cousin eddie here has the articulation you would expect from a mezco figure so with that out of the way guys let's actually get cousin eddie posed for my final thoughts and then we're gonna wrap up this review and so here we have the mezco 112 collective rumble society advent calendar cousin eddie pose for my final thoughts and overall I think Cousin Eddie here is a fun little figure. Now, I really don't see him as a must-have figure, but if you did pick up the advent calendar, this is a very fun figure to have, especially if you're like me and you've been collecting the Rumble Society. It's one figure that you're going to want to have just for novelty. I know he's probably going to be a figure you only get out once a year, especially around December, but who knows, maybe Christmas in July you can bring him out and he can still drink during the 4th of July. I think Eddie here is a missed opportunity to not have included a blue skull base. I think they should have given us a display stand for Cousin Eddie because I feel like that's something all Mezco figures need to come with is a display stand. I'm okay with the fact that he is limited in what he comes with only because he did come in an advent calendar which has so much in it. I do see Eddie here as an $80 figure that we've been seeing from Mezco and plus all the little throw-ins that they did give us. Yeah, I can see the justification for the price of the advent calendar. Calendar. Cousin Eddie here was part of that advent calendar set. So if you missed out on the advent calendar, you did miss out on Cousin Eddie. I do believe at the time I'm making this video, the advent calendar is sold out. And even uh, if you're waitlisted on it, if it's sold out, there's no chance of you getting it. So Cousin Eddie here will go on the secondhand market. And I don't really know what the value of this figure will be. Maybe he'll be expensive. Maybe he'll be cheap. Who knows? Because it's a really... 
a seasonal figure and I don't really see him as something that you would want to spend too much on but I personally think Cousin Eddie here is a must have for any fan of the Rumble Society for the Gomez universe if you're really into that Cousin Eddie here is a must have figure so with that out of the way guys I'm King of Dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Mezco 112 collective videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you would like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection I'll gladly have a look at it as always guys check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video until next time guys I'll see you later take care everyone